Hello, this is Vicky. Sorry I missed your call. Please leave a message. Hey Vicky, it's Jennifer. I have a great idea for a video. It involves group collaboration. Do you have time to talk later today? Give me a call when you can, okay? Just in case, I'll send an email too. Thanks. Bye. When you're creating your outgoing voicemail message, begin by saying hello. Then either state your name or your phone number. For example, hello, you've reached Gabby. Or hello, you've reached 555-1234. Then you can leave instructions for the caller, say thank you and goodbye. So for example, hello, you've reached Gabby. Please leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you, bye. Hello, this is Jennifer. I'm sorry I'm not able to take your call. Please leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Hi Jennifer, it's Vicky returning your call. I guess we're playing phone tag. But I got your email and I love your idea. And I'll be happy to contact the others. I'll see who I can reach today. Talk later. Bye. When you leave a message, first say hello. Hi is OK for friends, family and co-workers. Then state your name. Identify yourself if necessary. For example, do you represent a company or are you a friend of a friend? Then state the purpose of your call. Be brief. Hi, this is Jason. I'm sorry I'm not available to take your call. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, Jace, it's Vicky calling about Jennifer's idea for a video. Did you get the email? Call me back when you get a chance, all right? Oh, and could you reach out to Gabby? You have her number, right? Thanks. Bye. Hello, you've reached Gabby. I can't take your call right now, but please leave me a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Gabby. It's Jace. We're getting a group together for a collaboration video. It's going to be me, Vicky of Simple English Videos, and Jennifer ESL. We'd love to have you join. Uh, give me a call if you're interested. Hope to hear back from you soon. Bye. Hi, Gabby. It's Jace again. You're in touch with Minu from AngloLink, right? We'd love to have Minu join too. Do you think you could call her and ask? Thanks. Bye. When you leave voicemail, you can add a callback number. Your best friend will have your phone number, but a new client won't. You can also state the times you're available. For example, you can call me anytime today until 5 o'clock. Remember, adding a thank you or a simple thanks is a good thing to do before you say bye. Hello, this is Minu. I'm not able to answer your call right now. Please leave your name and number and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, Manu. This is Gabby from Go Natural English. I'm calling because a group of us online English teachers are getting together to do a collaborative project. And I was wondering if you'd have time to talk. Could you give me a call back at 1312-555-1234? I'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Remember to be brief and speak clearly, especially when you're spelling a name, stating your phone number, or giving an email address. You might even want to say it twice, the first time slowly and the second time a bit faster. Hi Jennifer, this is Minu. I just spoke to Gabby and she told me about the group collaboration video. I'm really happy you've all reached out. I'd love to join the group. Why don't we continue through email? My address is minu.101 at hotmail.com. That's minu.101 at hotmail.com. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. Talk to you soon. Bye. Let's review some of the vocabulary you've heard. Minu gave some excellent advice. 
Be brief. What does brief mean? Short. So don't talk too long. Now, what about this word? Hi, this is Jason. I'm sorry I'm not available to take your call. If you're available, you're free to see or talk to someone. And if you're not available, you're out or busy. And one more. You're in touch with Minu from Anglolink, right? If you're in touch with someone, you're communicating with them, maybe by email, but usually by phone. Hi everyone, thanks again for putting a great lesson together. I think we gave a lot of useful examples for leaving voicemail. There's only one thing left to do. Let's say thank you and bye to our viewers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to all our channels so you don't miss any of our videos.